So, uh, don't mean to put you on the spot or anything like that, but um, I think the last time I saw you, well, not in person, but mm. I think you were like in a jacuzzi somewhere. Yes, came back from our vacation. Mm -hmm. I feel refreshed, mm -hmm. yeah, energized. Had a good time. Brick and I decided to come back early, and I thought it was kind of suspicious to see Axel's car, so I picked up the camera and wanted to see what the kids were up to. You have to wake up. Wait a minute. Oh my god, are you serious? Are you serious? Who's that, babe? Good morning. Walking into the house and seeing how dirty and out of place it was really, like, got me like, oh. Uh, good morning. Oh, let's go ahead and put your shirt on What's, now. Okay, hi, Eddie. Uh, and I go on the couch and obviously we see Eddie, like, half naked there. What's this kid doing? Hey. Uh, hey. Oh, okay. Wait, oh, hey, Brandon. Where's our, where's you know our mom and Wait, why is Axel's car back out there? Where's Axel at? Is he? Babe. <laughs> oh my God. Wait a minute. Uh, it gets better, huh? It gets Hello? Better. Is he alive? Good morning. So then I go to my room and I find Miss Axel sleeping on my bed. Where's Armando at? Mando! Armando. Mando. Mm. Hey, mister. What's up with the house? All oh, messy, Armando. Are you serious? What? Okay, what is it with the cowboy stuff? Everyone, Why is a cowboy everybody hat, wearing like, cowboy hats? You better wake up, be up in like five minutes, man, because you got some You better come out here in the do. kitchen right now. You have some explaining to do, Armando. Eileen. Oh, rise Eileen, and shine, are you princess. Serious? Look at her bed, babe. She has a mess. Eileen. What are you what? guys doing here? I know like the tone of voices that they talk to me when they're like actually upset. And these were the exact tone of voices. There's nothing there. Eileen, no, yeah, there's, you there, need to there's go help plenty, us clean. There's plenty there there's in the There's a plenty of this Look, stuff there, everywhere. See, there we go. I'm just like so scared because I don't know what's outside that they're so worked up about. You have some experience. How do you, how do you explain this? Did it just come out of nowhere or what? Look, you guys need to clean all this stuff. <laughs> you guys knew you you do better. Here? We talked about this. Eileen, what happened last night? Oh my God, of course. Brandon is like dead on the couch. Eddie has his shirt off. Like the house is a mess. You guys weren't supposed to be here this early in the morning. Mm, no, no, I'm glad we came back early. I feel like Rick handled it pretty good. I mean, just the fact that he was like, hey, put your shirt on, man. I think that was already enough. His tone kind of like changed. So I'm surprised he didn't react another way. Uh, let's, we'll just clean up. Don't worry. You guys go, go back to where you came from. <laughs> fun party, was it worth it? <laughs> I mean, it definitely was a fun party. Like I would probably do it again but this time they would probably know. Okay, look, I, I know this is kind of messed up, but I feel like it was pretty worth it. <laughs> we had fun. I don't even realize that all this crap out here. That's yours, I don't even know where the hell that came from. What even is that? Literally. Ask yourself, that's a wig. I, remember, I don't remember wearing a Why wig unless outside? I did, I don't understand. This is so dumb. I can't believe we got caught up, we're so stupid. I guess I met Eddie last night. Yeah? Yeah. How do you I like mean, him? Seems like a cool dude. He is I cool. I guess. Right? Thought he was gonna be shorter, but he was taller. He's actually pretty tall. What about you? Who are you talking to, huh? So, uh, I've been... I've been talking to Natalie again. <gasps> Ooh, no way! I know, bro. Yeah, I mean, we've you actually really been like talking. You like girl, huh? Yeah, she's pretty. 
She has a great personality too. Okay, me and Natalie, at first we were really good friends. We've been talking for a long time and I feel like we've already established like a really, really good like relationship. I feel like a lot of girls do reach out to Armando and I'm a little concerned about his decision making and who he talks to. I just want to make sure that these girls are not doing it for clout. I don't think Armando knows what he's doing. I don't hold grudges like, I don't know if my mom does, but <laughs> I for sure don't. I'm not going to judge you for talking to her again, but you should tell mom because mom has different feelings towards Yeah, you her. see, that's the thing though. You know how she acts and you know how she is. If I tell her that, oh, I'm talking to a girl, oh, what girl, oh, let me know, let me know. And I say, Natalie, yeah. she's gonna feel some type of way. I think it would be any any girl I talk to, like this with my mom, She, she's very picky on who I talk to or who talks to me, which is annoying, <laughs> annoying at this point. Honest thoughts, I, I think Natalie's like a really good person. I think she, she I mean, she makes my brother like, Smile. So I think it's cute. So she definitely must be doing something right to be making my brother this happy. Bro, why do you get nervous? Because about Natalie? Dude, she's pretty, that's why. <laughs> okay, Armando. That's cute. Hey Eddie, thank you very much for helping me yeah. out. It looks like the party got a little crazy last night, huh? Just a little, you know. There you, go. you know, you know us. We do a little parties there here and there. Oh, that's cool, man. I feel like Eddie should be nervous talking to Rick because if he would only see the reaction of Rick when he saw Eddie kiss Eileen on Next Influencer, good luck, Eddie. Man, so what you been up to, man? Just chilling. Me and Eileen, you know, we've been hanging out a little more. Oh, that's Getting cool. Getting close together. That's cool. So yeah. tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, what do you got going on? Oh, right now, I'm not in school. Uh, I'm doing TikTok, you know, TikTok full yeah, time. So I'm on that right now. And then um, hopefully after like TikTok and all that, I will go to like school and all that. Cause I do plan on going back to college and all that. Yeah. I'm, you know, get my, get my stuff, you know? Oh, that's cool, I'm man. I'm ready for it. Education's always important. So uh, don't mean to put you on the spot or anything like that, but um, I think the last time I saw you, well, not in person, but mm -hmm. I think you were like in a jacuzzi somewhere. Yeah, yeah did you, you saw that episode? Yeah, I did. So, I mean, like I said, I'm not trying to put you on the spot. No, it's but okay, like, it's was, okay. was that like, a, was that like genuine or, or was it what? Like some it, kind of like. It was. You can be honest, man, you can be honest. Uh, I'm nervous, hold on, did I'm nervous. Just... Eddie should be extremely nervous to talk to my dad. Like, there has not been a boy since my breakup, no other man has ever talked to my dad. I have never introduced another boy to my dad. My dad's scary. Like, not to me, but he is very intimidating. It just happened, yeah. Trust me, it I, just I, happened. I, I, I was your age one time, and I know how these things go sometimes, yeah. but, you know, if you guys are starting a, a friendship and it, you know, it develops into something else, just like, it's, it's always good to be open with people and, you know, it's, it's okay to share your feelings sometimes, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, in our household, like respect and honesty is like the best thing, so. Yeah, that's but, mainly at my house too. But, yeah. you know, Eileen has talked to me about you and, and you know, you seem like you're a nice kid, um, you. you know, a young man. So would it be cool if I was to take Eileen on a little date today? Yeah, man, that's, that's, that's good, man. What do, you, what do you guys have planned? You know, I was planning on maybe like a picnic, go see a view out and just, you know, talk a little, you All know, right. have a little, nice little food date. I think it was really sweet that he asked my dad for permission to take me on a date because, I mean, like, no guy's done that for me before, so. I'm sure my dad, like, probably was, like, respected him a little bit more after that because that's a very mature thing to do. You, you want me to drive you guys there? You want me to hang out in the park too at the uh, same time, or? I mean, like, if you wanna. I'm just kidding, we'll man. I'm just kidding, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dude, this is cool. Me and Eddie are going on our first date, and I'm really excited because we get to spend time together alone. I mean, I, we haven't, every time we've spent time together, it's just been with a whole bunch of other people. So this is gonna be really fun. I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna go on a little picnic date. And plus, like, I've never been on like any type of date like this before. So it's definitely a first for me, and a first for him too. So, I've been in like a little pickle recently okay, with, with my mom. Because we've been going back and forth about, you know, getting a manager. Oh, well, my yeah. Mom, my mom kind of manages me a little bit. Uh -huh. um, well, she did for a little while. But ever since we did the show, when I came back, she kind of stopped. I 
I've had several managers that kind of like screwed me over, which kind of sucks because you don't see it. Yeah. But then once you're like at the end, it's like you'll you'll catch on and then see it and you'll get like over. Yeah. But like so many like influencers, like that's why I think it's a good idea for you to like if your mom still wants to keep doing your stuff, like so you, like, ha stick with her? like stick with her. I mean, Eddie's been in the industry for like a couple years now and he knows what he's doing. Like he's had a manager. He made a lot of good points. So I really appreciate him for giving me all that advice. I mean, even if you still feel like your mom's not helping you, like talk to her about it, or, like get more, yeah. like keep that connect with your mom. Because I think for if your mom was like already knowing how to do all that, keep her because managers out here in LA will like screw you over, take your money, they will like. He definitely did change my perspective on the whole manager thing. I'm still definitely thinking about it because, of course, I loved Eddie's advice, but then I have my Tia Uva on the other end giving me different type of advice. There's so many perspectives and, like, just... It's just going to be hard to make a decision. Hey. Hey, can I come in? Yeah. So everybody has already finished cleaning the house. I'm relaxing, and then Armando comes in and wants to talk to me. I mean, like... What? I know you're annoyed. Mm-hmm. It's probably not the best time to tell you this, but... Uh... Man, I'm kind of nervous to tell my mom about it. Me and Natalie, I kind of have to because, you know, she's she's going to be around. Who knows, maybe my mom's idea will change. Maybe after I tell her that we've been talking more, we've been kind of getting more mature. Hopefully she takes it a different way. Uh, I came in because I want to tell you that... Uh, okay, what? I've been talking to a girl. Really? Mm -hmm. I know how you get about these things, and mm -hmm. I can already see how it's going to end up, but mm -hmm. my mom, she's very picky on who I talk to or who talks to me, which is known at this point. She's not like that with Eileen. She's like that with me. It doesn't seem fair. I'm so glad the Lord gave me only one boy because, I mean, I know Eileen. I can find her a cute boyfriend like Eddie, <laughs> but, but, but Armando, it's so hard. I'm talking to Natalie again. That one girl from yeah. Moda? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to take her out on a date. Oh, you already have it planned, huh? Yeah. Manda, so, so why this girl? This is the girl that I was worried about last time that I told you that she just wants to come in just for cloud, just to kind of hang out. I mean, but look. Just to get, to, to get into your life okay. and do all kinds of stuff. Like, why? Where? where why? Where, where, why did you decide to talk to this girl? That happened like a year and a half ago. Like, I can literally care less about the clout. I, that doesn't run my life. I do not care. I think because of the first time that I met her, the way she approached us, and I, I, and I, I don't know. Well, how did she do it? Like, what was? Well, it was on Anika's party. Anika's quince. That's how we met her. She seemed very nice, very genuine, but then when she asked to be on the show, it kind of made me question her. So I don't... I you do. have like a lot of plans. Like why are you and even trying to like go on a date with this girl that you don't even really know much? So what I'm kind of getting right now is that you don't want me talking to a girl. No, I'm not saying a girl. I'm just saying like you have to find the right one. The yeah, one know. that you, you know you get to. I feel like she's the right one. Like even though we had our, our little, I guess, fights, whatever, but we've gotten over them. Like it doesn't matter anymore. I don't think my mom really understands um, We've kind of changed. The girl like lives like a million miles away right now. You don't even have a driver's you, you've license. You've never heard of a long distance relationship? I don't know, Armando. You're going to have to figure that one on yourself because I'm not going to go over there and be nobody's Uber or anybody's driver That's and go totally drop fine. off anyone or pick anyone up. Armando is going to do it no matter what I say. I think like, I definitely don't have that influence on him like I used to. He's, he's rebelling against me now. Yeah, she can't stop me from going out with somebody. So, I mean, she probably could. You know, she, she would. She definitely would, but if I'm gonna go on a date with a girl, I'm gonna go on a date with a girl. I don't like making it a bigger deal than it already is. I'm just trying to have fun, but I'll go back to cleaning. All right, you better. So annoyed, this kid. We appreciate uh, girls that have been supporting us since day one. You know what I'm saying? Since my drinking senora, we appreciate that. But I don't know, it's very sus. We saw her at Annika's Quince, then we saw her at Moda Dos Mil, and then she was being buddy buddy with Alina. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Okay guys, we're on a little date.
it was just a more intimate experience with him and we got to just chat like on a different level and we are having a good time like we're just talking we're taking in the view I, he just couldn't stop saying like i really like this i really like this and i'm just like oh like I knew he was enjoying himself, so I was enjoying myself too. Well, I hope he'd want to go on another date with me after this. I mean, we had fun, so yeah, hopefully he wants to go on another one. You want to? I want to, yeah. Look, if we're being real here, it's been a minute since you booked anything for me these past couple months. Really? Just saying. I probably should get like a manager that helps. You need to look back and see if everything that we worked together because you didn't do this where you're at right now. You didn't do this by yourself, you know? I sacrificed my job to help you grow. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my show. Comment down below if you think Armando should go on a date with Natalie. Make sure to like and subscribe for more episodes of Growing Up Eileen.